Hey guys, this is Marlena and I am a pastor here at Club is Hills. I'm our worship and creative pastor and this is our podcast. And this is a podcast that we like to go deeper into a little bit of what we just heard on the message. Uh, this weekend was uh, February 12th. 12th. <laughs> you know, they just run in my mind, like mm-hmm. kind of into each other. Yeah. I'm like, we're in February. That's why February 12th. If you want to see the message fuller, you can go see that on our YouTube. Um, and for this podcast, uh, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube page, Spotify, Apple Music, wherever you get your podcasts. So, um, but we're going to go a little bit deeper. And we've been in a series, an evangelism series uh, called Contagious Faith. And this weekend, we talked about storytelling. And I've got my friend, Sharice. She is actually one of um, our worship leaders at the North Campus and one of our stage managers. She keeps us in line so much. I can't tell you how many times I have like lost my microphone and this woman has found it for me. Um, She's awesome, (laughs) which one of her... I'm guessing one of your styles is selfless serving, but you're also your friendship building, right? Yeah. The quiz said friendship building, but I, I wouldn't doubt if I had that one as well. No, I wouldn't doubt it either yeah. at all. So uh, mine's reason giving. I just love asking questions. I love getting to know people and I love to lead a way for anyone to come to Christ um, based off of that. But this weekend we talked about truth telling. Mm-hmm. Pastor Sean is a, a total truth teller, right? Yeah. Yeah. So much. A little blunt. <laughs> a little blunt. Yeah. Sometimes it just gives it to you. <laughs> but, but I appreciate I, it. Oh, yeah. No, totally. It's totally necessary. Yeah. In this world anyway. Right? Because yeah. sometimes we forget. It's like, yes, like we want to we wanna live out our lives. And, and there is so much about compassion and, and mercy and coming alongside people mm. with grace too. But um, truth does not have to be mean. Right? He, even one of his points was don't be a jerk yeah, about it. That was my favorite point. Yeah, why? <laughs> Because it's easy to be a jerk about it when you're passionate about something. You just want to get the point across, and sometimes it yeah. might, you know, push someone away. You got to like be careful. Like being a Raiders fan, they <laughs> always have to dog on me for the Raiders. But listen, we've suffered enough this year. Just it's okay. Let's put it behind us. It's over. I just wanted to be blunt. Yeah. Um, anyways, but <laughs> one of my bomb. favorite verses that he had mentioned was Mark 12. Do you remember that one? Do I remember do it? You, I didn't memorize it. Do you it. remember? <laughs> I sat through both services. I should have memorized it by now. Um, It said, Jesus replied, your mistake Mm. is that you don't know the scriptures and you don't know the power of God. He was saying that to the Pharisees. Yeah. I love how Sean was talking about how Jesus himself was such a truth teller. What what do you think about that when Sean was talking about that and that verse like the Pharisees? That verse says it all right there because everybody probably thought that they knew what was up and they knew what was going on. But he's like, but you don't. That's the thing. Well, your problem is. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Is that you don't know this. It's like telling the religious leaders, like, the problem is you don't know anything about God. Yeah. But probably not to that point. But he was saying the problem is you don't know the scriptures. Mm -hmm. You make up rules. You try to follow things. And I loved how Sean said um, to so many people, and particularly parents, it's like, your kids don't need more religion. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's like, we don't need religion. Jesus himself was fighting religion when he came, right? Mm-hmm. That yeah. was pretty cool. I mean, you're a mom. Yeah. And and I know that I've heard a lot of people saying like, well, we really are drawn to church because we want that for our kids. We mm-hmm. want them to have more good morals. We want them just to know there's something bigger out there. Like as a mom, like, what do you think about that statement that we don't need more religion. Your kids don't need more religion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I think religion, it's too easily wrapped up in the worldly stuff. And I think that if they could just focus on the truth, right, the word, yeah. um, and don't let religion get in the way. I mean, I've had people say, oh, you and your kids are religious. No, actually, I, I don't know. Something in my spirit just kind of makes me quiver when mm. someone says I'm religious because it just feels like it's not what he wanted anyway. Yeah. So... Yeah. yeah, I mean, I I've come from a background, I've come from a background where um, it was mostly religious, very culturally Roman Catholic, um, and and trust me, there's so much about the Catholic faith that I have kept ingrained in me. That there's this faithfulness, this reverence that I love, that I always keep. Um, but when there's a religiosity in anything, it means that we're just following a set of rules to be good people. But I love how Jesus was just telling the truth, like, listen. You don't need more religion. You need me. Yeah. You need me. Right? 
Yeah. Um, why do you think it's so important to be bold enough to just tell people the truth about Jesus, particularly? Not like the truth about like, listen, like you need to take more showers because you be smelling <laughs> like, no, no, no. It's like you just need Christ and it's not being mean about it. But why is it important? I mean, I feel like... <laughs> I feel like that's kind of self-explanatory. I mean, it, like, I don't know. I just, I feel like the world is really a distracting thing, right? Mm -hmm. And so I feel like what, because man made religion, right? Yep. And so I feel like whatever the group you're running with puts on you or whatever the church, even if your church isn't, maybe some churches don't necessarily go Bible-based sermons. Maybe they kind of put in their two cents or what they feel or whatever, you know, but whatever the world has done to them, whatever, if they're jaded from something or if somebody hurt them, it affects how you, mm. how you think about mm, God, how you yep. think about the Bible. It, it scares some people away. And that's why mm. when people are like, Oh, I'm not religious. It's like, oh, well, neither am I, yeah. you okay. know? Girl, be spinning. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Take us to church, Reese. Right. Um, one of my favorite quotes, um, and Sean says this from time to time, but, man, it hit today is that uh, people are not messes that need to be fixed, but they are mysteries to be wondered at. Yeah. Man, I love that. Mm -hmm. You're a mystery. Have you ever thought about that? Like, we're a mystery. Like there's galaxies and galaxies within people mm. and they're to be wondered at. That's God's creation. We're God's creation. And yeah, we're messy, right? But it's not our job to fix anyone, mm -hmm. even though we want to. Because I'm sure you're like, well, I have the right answer. Mm. And so with this truth, <laughs> you can't just be like, wrong. Yeah. <laughs> but you got to be uh, listening and compassionate. Yeah. 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 And I like what he said about, you know, you don't need to clean the inside of the cup. Let Jesus do that. It's not necessary. I mean, you don't have to be cleaned up and get your stuff together before you, you know, go figure it out and, and do, he'll do it for you. Yeah, it's fine. He'll do it for you. I don't know about you, but I'm I'm a mess. Hmm. You're a mess. I'm a mess. I've come from messiness. Yeah. Um, and I think what's funny is like Sean mentioned some great things even about being a pastor. Like there's this like we get put on pedestals. Hmm. And I can't tell you like I even though I feel like I am, like, you see what you get. I'm pretty real. I, I do confess that sometimes I feel like I have to live up to that expectation. And it gets really hard and it gets really tiring. Mm -hmm. And the truth that is Jesus and his gospel, even as me as a pastor, I need that to sink in every time because I'm still a mess. But I'm a mystery that he wants. Yeah. And that he wants to share with others to explore. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Ooh. That's good. So, <laughs> man, um, any takeaways from this message? I mean, you love that cup analogy, man, because like, yeah, gosh, because we're leave all it sinners. alone. Yeah. Just leave it. Right. Yeah. The truth is hard, mm -hmm. but regret is harder. Sean mm -hmm. said, "Ooh, that was the good. truth is hard." I'm gonna say it again, but regret is harder. So think about that. That person at the store that just seemed disheveled, that 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 family member you don't want to forgive. Mm. Um, the honestly, mostly that awkwardness, because it all is awkward. Like the truth is awkward. Yeah. And it's hard, but regret is harder to think, man, like I was so selfish because of my own comfort. I did not share the gospel and just say the truth to someone that needed it. But mm -hmm. they need it. I mean, yeah. I need it. And you will, the answer might be no, and you might be rejected. I mean, you probably will at some point, but there isn't that regret, right? That's going to be even harder to realize, wow, God, I had so many opportunities to share my faith, but because it was awkward and hard, I didn't. So, yeah, yeah. that was my thing. I was like, dang, I got to be more open to the moments God is trying to interrupt me and mm. to say some hard things. But hard doesn't have to be mean, Right. Heart can be so loving. It can just be like Jesus saying, He loved the dis he loved the Pharisees. And right and in Mark 12, he's saying, But the problem is you don't know the scriptures. Mm. But what he was saying is you don't know the scriptures the way that my father intended them. Right. Come to the Father. There's still an invitation. So yeah. um, I love that. Man, Jesus is yeah. a truth teller. It's good stuff. Yeah. yeah, oh yeah. He tells you the truth. Oh yeah. Like, Listen to me. Yeah, even when I don't want to hear it. Oh He's like, listen, gosh. here's what it is. Yeah. So how um how do you think you can be challenged this week to maybe be more of a truth teller with the gospel? You know, I do have a few family members that um 
they believe in God, but they don't necessarily have a relationship. They don't necessarily know that you can have a relationship. And I always kind of shy away because I don't want them to call me, you know, a Bible thumper, as I've been called before, or call me religious, because I don't feel like I'm those things. I just want to share the good news. Mm. And so I think that I could be a little bit more bold in sharing it with my the people closest to me who don't know him yet. In a nice way. In a nice way. It's hard to be nice with family. Well, and that's the thing is that I almost feel like sometimes I'm too nice and then I don't, I, I'm just, I shy away from it. I don't really yeah. let it out yeah. what they need to hear. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's awesome. No, I love that. So, um, I could probably be more challenged and be the truth teller probably in a way of, um, I think as, as a reason giver, I like to figure people out. I do mm. love the galaxies to be explored and sometimes I'll stay just so much into the mystery. I don't, um, get right at it. So. I think it's just the whole, um, you know, not letting anybody's differences hold me back. Like, there's a lot of learning about people, but as I'm learning, I think I want to love people more by just being like, yeah, but do you know Jesus? Not, Mm -hmm. oh, do you go to a church? Or, hey, like, have you ever thought about this way? Mm -hmm. Because the intellect can get away from me sometimes, so. Yeah. Wow. I love that. Thanks for joining us, Sharice. Of course. My pleasure. This is fun. We are having a great time doing this podcast and keeping it real. And so um, I hope you guys have an amazing week. I hope you're encouraged. I hope that you realize to be a truth teller doesn't mean you're being a jerk, but to ask people about their story, let them talk, and then not be afraid to tell the truth about the gospel, Mm. not the truth about their lives. Don't fix them. Don't clean out the cup. Mm -hmm. Jesus is going to clean the cup. And you just get at it (laughs) for the gospel, not your own agenda. So um, I hope you're encouraged. I hope you have an amazing week. Uh, We'll see you next week on the Hills podcast. And yeah, go get it, man. Contagious faith. Share your faith out there. Bye, guys. (laughs) 